Hey, your viewers and viewers, is, my name is General Red Stratus, and welcome back to Canarium. This is episode 6. So, last episode was an interesting one. We went through that whole underwater section in the submarine. Then, our little vessel got attacked by something horrible with tentacles. So, we don't know what's going on here. Are we dead? Or have we transcended into the beyond? Who knows? But we're going to go forward into the light, and we're going to see what's happening. It looks like we're having another flashback. Is that the... Oh. This is the base, isn't it? Hold on. Wait, what? How did... Whoa. That is... Darkness. Okay, I wasn't meant to do that. Oh, you kidding me? I just fucking... Wait a minute. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, wait, 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 what? Oh, that's weird. Oh, it's like corridors in the darkness. Blake? Wasn't the Blake the guy who had the... Okay, yes, it's right. <laughs> I was about to say, where's the head? The head seems to be missing. Oh, we got a torch back at least in this vision. Playing a bit of music there, are you, Blakey? God, oh, that's that thing. I've seen that before. I could turn that off. Uh, that's the third eye thing. Okay. Anything else in here, or...? Is there any reason for being in here? I'm not entirely sure. Barlow? Locked. Still can't get into these ones. What about Fausts? We can get into here. Oh! Alright, Faust. You got a vision for us. I was wondering where the music was coming from. How we are? How are you? Or not. Maybe you want me to uh, use that phonograph there. Oh, you got a little it's box, stuck. though. Stuck. Bollocks. Still got access to me. Oh, no. Okay, I've only got my torch here, apparently. Right. That's not opening. This one is. What's this? Found a note written by Dr. Faust. The power of this place, I believe, is too strong for the mind and the body. At the least, it disorients the feelings, bodily functions, and even more so, the powers of judgment. Nevertheless, I didn't expect or even prepare for what happened during the session we held two days ago. Frank was not able to rise from the deep. Still, what strikes me the most is his contorted look and his speech when he came back to life. It was only subtle, though, but I was able to detect it. Doubtlessly, a revulsion of feeling was apparent in his countenance. There was something unnatural, something bizarre behind his marbled eyes. It seemed that he saw the deepest time frame we had been searching for a long time. I cannot be so sure about that, for his consciousness may have been hindering the flow of communication, but it is still highly possible. His speech, even though it was almost indiscernible, seemed awkward and foreign. The pronunciation was barbarously alien, and his, di his diction had a curiously stilted quality. Beyond any doubt, the speaker was not frank. I tried to speak to him, but he seemed unaware of me, kept looking at a certain point on the wall in front. What I discerned from his speech was a long dead language that only a few people know today, myself included. Desices. Guessing that's how you pronounce it. So I was the sole person who understood what he had said, and I will keep it that way until everything is settled. The past two nights, Frank has woken up screaming, covered in a cold sweat, unable to remember the contents of his dreams, the things that caused him to scream intensely enough to render Mr. Barlow speechless. I will consult PK about this event as soon as possible. Take care, E. Warren Ross. Okay. Well, Frank, you did not have a good time down in the depths, did you? Liber, Liber Ivonis. Okay. Just a random book. What's this one? The King in Yellow. Oh, shit. <laughs> that. That right there, that's a reference. Oh, really? That's not like a game, in-game trophy or anything? You kidding me? Anything in these drawers? There's a thing? Hmm. I've taken a phonograph cylinder, okay. Maybe I can put it on the thing and uh, let it play. It's an alarm clock. Hmm. Interesting. Wonder why you can examine that. Right, what have we got here? Nothing there, just a book with an elder sign on the front of it. Elder Sigil, whatever you want to call it. We'll switch out the phonograph in a second. What's this? Uh, oh, now Sprechlicke Kulta. Something about cults, maybe? Oh, wait, I can read that. Oh, no, no, what am I doing? <laughs> That's what I just did. Uh, there's the plant things. Okay, right, let's put the cylinder on there. 
rotate, read description. A phonograph cylinder of the song Chacon in uh, Demin, I've just got an achievement lock, Bookworm, by uh, J.S. Bark. Nice. I like it. Okay, I can take it, apparently. Trophy item, according to... Oh, nice. Another one. So what happens if I... Two days ago, ah. Frank most probably could have reached the intended time period. Among all the Canarianots, he is the most... How should I say it? Gifted. But unfortunately, his heart ceased beating all of a sudden. This was most unfortunate. Because when he came back, he doesn't remember anything specific. I believe there is no other way than increasing the intake dosage of the mixture. Very dangerous, but this seems the only way to raise the time limit and awareness in the sessions. Right. Journal updated. Okay. That, of course, will be the uh, transcript, won't it? Yes. Okay, so clearly they've been trying to use the Canarium to, or Canaria, to uh, go back in time, I'm assuming, to uh, contact the Elder Things or, you know, other civilizations that once existed a long, long time ago. That's what I'm guessing is going on here, right? What? My door is still locked, it seems. But of course, I think it's uh, messing up the human mind. Because I feel like the human mind is probably not intended to be doing that. It's the old Lovecraftian thing, again, of, you know, the human mind being very small and not cap not quite capable of comprehending some of the horrors that exist out there in the world around us. Guess don't go down here, then. Where, where am I? Uh, how did I get here? Well, your guess is as good as mine, my friend. Where? Right, well the water did something bring me here, or did uh did I just get washed up or something? Oh god. Oh god, it's like the whole landscape around me was just slowly swaying and melting, but it's stopped now. Oh man. It does remind me a lot of the final um stages of Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. If you haven't watched my series on that, go and watch it. Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth was a good game from 2006. One of the best adaptations, I, I personally think, there's ever been of H.P. Lovecraft's work in the form of a video game. Very, very good stuff. Oh, look. I've still got my torch. Now it's giving me my inventory back as well. Oh. Uh oh. So we have more static. Yes. To other expedition parties. Is there anyone who can read me? One person is dead, and two others have been injured by the partial ice cave collapse. There is something here with us. Do not come through our expedition route. I repeat, do not come through our expedition route. Oh no. Yes, I read you. This is Frank. For God's sake, what happened? And please, tell me where I can find you. Frank, do not stray from your path. We have come across something... terrible. Do not come here through our expedition route, no matter what happens. It looks like this fiendish netherworld depends on some kind of energy. An energy that is stored in curious stoneworks similar to an obelisk with crystals on top. And they are able to clear away some of the strange plants. Dr. Faust? Dr. Faust? Oh, come on, not again! This is nonsense. I cannot understand what is going on. Oh no. Are we going to go after them? Even though he's just said, don't go after us. I feel like old Frank is probably going to do that, isn't he? So they found something terrible, or rather something terrible with them. There's other people alive, but we've been explicitly instructed, do not go looking for them. 
Oh god. Alright, that's where... Wait, which one did we just come from? We just came from this one here, didn't we? Hold on. Yeah, that's where we came from. God. I just saw that other doorway there. I was like, wait, well, hold on. <laughs> right, so... There's that doorway there. We could potentially go through. Hold on, is there something over here? Or, oh, there is something here. What's this? This stonework seems weak. Well, I've got a tool for that. Give me this. I can do some hacking with my axe. And it asks you a few questions. Oh. What's, uh... What's the deal in here, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Come on, there we are. You found a secret. Nice, see? Always worth just looking. Is there something... Oh. Something else I'm supposed to destroy? Always takes a few swings, but you get through it fairly quickly. Which is good. I get through now. Fucking get out of here. Oh, treasures await me in here. This thing. Ah, it's that little... Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you look interesting. Can't do anything. Oh, look at this one. It's like a very Cthulhu-esque beast, that one is. Okay. I can turn my torch. Oh, God, I didn't want to do that. There you go. You can see it better now. There you are. Oh, God, I can look at quite a few of them in here. What's this one? That's, um... Ugh. Something strange. And that was the one I just looked at a moment ago. It has a very skull-like face. Alright. Oh, can I look at that one? It's like another very Cthulhu-like creature, that is. Damn. Ah, oh, well, this is, I'm guessing, the trophy item, is it? An ornamental object with a metallic part engraved within a sandstone rock, depicting an elder thing figure in the centre. Yes. The trophy? Yes! Getting all the trophies, aren't I? Fantastic. Fantastic elastic. Right, we have to go. So we got those two passages... Well, rather, we got that potential passage there. There's this big door over here, whatever it is. We got this in the middle? What is this? Shelving? Or... Weird. There's an altar... Statue, anything in the pots, or someone's been lighting candles down here, which is unsettling. God, it looks like there's more stuff off over there. Right, hold on. We're going to check this way first, I think. Because, I don't know. God, you don't suppose there's going to be multiple routes in this game in terms of potentially multiple endings? Ah. Wait a minute, we might get another vision here. Because this looks eerily similar to somewhere we've... I was about to say somewhere we've been before. As I predicted, a race, reptilian in physiology, lived inside these ruins after the original builders. The Elder Things left the area after some unknown cataclysmic event, now lost in an archaic and lost chapter of Earth's history. This relief depict some reptilian creatures treating an elder thing with reverence. And the other relief with four tall figures, I believe symbolizes empty vessels. Huh. Golems. We've seen the same vessel figures depicted as assuming different roles several times in most of the murals or reliefs we've come across so far. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I saw the golems there, and I was looking at this and thinking, yeah, it's like they're all kind of worshipping the elder thing. Weird. So were they, I don't know, trying to use the canarium to contact the elder things, or were they trying to contact the reptilians? I'm not sure. I don't recall reptilians in H.V. Lovecraft, in the kind of Cthulhu mythos, so maybe that's something that's... Uh, been added for the purposes of this game. A light. Do I have to maybe? I can't move it. The eyes on the track is obstructing the movement. Okay, I think I have to get this one around. Can I just use this? Yes, I can. See? Use all faithful here. It won't budge. Get rid of these ones. Get rid of all of it. There we are. 
you see, that's how it's done. That's facing over there now. Um, you see out here, it's just bright light. Question now is, can we turn it? Oh, we can. Oh God, don't blind myself. Yeah, Jesus. Oh. Aha, okay, it's filtering downward. Right. That's now lit up, apparently. Okay. Got an autosave. So I'm guessing... Whatever we needed to do, we've now done it. So it just says... <laughs> okay. Does he say things if I look at the other ones? It just says... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, is there anything with these? No, apparently not. Okay, well, I'm guessing I needed to do that so that I could um, power something downstairs, maybe. Hmm. I wonder. Let's have a look, just another look at this um, this big entryway over here. Is there something? Ah, it's like another mirrored surface. Damn. Check out my character. Good lord. Oh, Frank. Why so serious, old boy? Alright, well I guess we have to go in this direction then, because it doesn't look like there's anything else really. Well, there's actually a path down there. There's a path over there, hold on. Well, there might be a path down here? Fucking hell, there's about three different routes here, where am I supposed to go? It's always one of those moments in games where it's like you don't know where to go, and you're worried that if you go down one, you'll end up going down the route that you're supposed to go down, so you end up missing easter eggs or whatever else have you. Such is the nature of, you know, first time playthroughs. Ah, what do we got here? Is this a trophy? Found an ornamental object. Ornamental object with a gently glowing stone in the middle. Okay. Right. Okay, so that probably wasn't um, the way onwards. So I'm guessing we have to put this thing somewhere. Maybe it's like a power source. Do you remember that, like, the crystals in Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth? in the Yithian areas, where you pick them up, you move them around, and use it to power stuff. Okay, it looks like these two routes actually just converge on the same area. There's little pedestals around. I've actually lost track of how, uh, how long I've been recording for. Oh boy. A lot of ice around here. It's a way up out of there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, pots, more... Oof. Moving plants. Do I put the... Aha! Well, that's on there. Ah, it's getting rid of them. That's good. You see... Oh, God, I've got, like, giant reptilian statues. It's kind of reptile men. Weird. Nothing with the pots, or... No. Oh, God. I'm just worried that at some point there's going to be a fucking Shoggoth. It looks like uh, screen's going blurry around the edges, meaning probably another vision uh. coming. Uh, go on then, bring it on. Oh! Oh, they're big! They are some big fucking boys! Jesus! Well, we just saw them. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I mean, so far there's nothing that can hurt us, but... God, do we go up there where they went? I mean, that's probably just a vision more than anything else. But uh, anything back here, though? Another possible passage. Okay. Another passage. Right. Check this one first. Maybe. It's maybe where they went. That's the way you're supposed to go. What's that? Is that little braziers or something? Ah, it's just a. This stonework seems weak. Yes. It's got to be another Easter egg. Go on. Yeah. Fucking get out of here. I'm so strong and tough. See, I can hammer through stone. Oh, this one's actually a bit more resistant. Go on, fucking get out. Get down. Don't mind me just destroying precious archaeological sites. I'm sure the reptile people won't be, uh, you know, too fussed about me destroying their valuable antiquities. Oh my god. Oh no. This don't look like a good area. 
Ugh. Hello. You look... Are you human? I don't even know what you are. You look human, to me at least. So, um... Please don't come alive. Okay, it's just like a little hidden thing back here. Hmm. Oh god, don't want to do that. Alright then, um, something off on this side? God, there's like a similar thing over here. This is slightly weird. Oh, you've got like a headdress of some kind on. A feathered mask I took from the head of one of the skeletons sitting silently in their eternal resting places. Signs of colour that can be seen on the now solidified feathers made me think how flamboyant it might once have been. Oh, it's got to be a trophy. Holy shit. I'm getting so many of them. I'm the expert treasure hunter, clearly. What's down here? This is a big area, this is. But this isn't the way I'm supposed to be going to move onward, is it? Oh my god, that's a huge area. Hold on, what about that passage where the visions of the reptile people went? Because this feels like it could be the way on. Because there was, there was lights in there as well, and that probably means actually you're supposed to go in that direction. It's probably signifying this is the route you're supposed to go. So, I don't know. Okay, it looks like we are doing something right here. There's another vision coming in by the looks of it, I think. Aha! Ah. Yes! The same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. Why does he keep pronouncing it niches? It's niches. Niches, my friend. The symbol on this stone is illegible. There's no glyph on this stone. The symbol on this stone is illegible. There's no glyph on this stone. The symbol on this stone no. <laughs> is illegible. I think they're all going to say that, aren't they? There's no glyph on this stone. The symbol on this stone is illegible. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what? Sorry, wait, what? Why, why is that one different? For some reason I'm able to zoom in on this one. Why? Oh! Examine! I don't remember this symbol. Could you not? It was on the things before, the little five things that you put on the thing that opened the thing. You remember the thing, right? Well, it's like... Okay, that's why I'm supposed to fucking... Damn an idiot. <laughs> Had my torch turned on. Yeah. So you see, like, they show up. and There's one there. It looks kind of like it's glowing, unless that's... Symbol on this stone is illegible. So, it looks like maybe we have There's to... No glyph on this stone. ...find stones that we can put into the ones with symbols on them, maybe? Don't know. See, these ones have got... Symbol on this stone is illegible. See, that one's got... Yeah. There are ones with symbols and ones that don't have symbols. Okay. So what's the... Purpose here. What am I supposed to do? I don't remember this symbol. Is he just going to say that for all of the ones that have symbols? That glyph doesn't ring any bells. I mean, some of these are different. So I don't remember this symbol. Ones we've seen previously, I'll admit. And of course, there's ones that we can't examine because they don't have rocks the in them. on this stone is illegible. This one. Hmm. This symbol is exactly oh. the same with the one I saw in the vision about the repetition of specific symbols within the caverns below the base. Is it? Aha! Okay, we just have to check all the ones with symbols. Found a reddish crystal stone, which is now in my inventory. What about the other ones? That one... Oh, I can't interact with any of them now. Okay, so it's just a matter of clicking on the ones until I find the right one. Okay. So what do I need this for? Can I put this in somewhere? Well, probably not in here, is it? It's probably going to be somewhere later down the line where I need to use it. So we'll do that. We'll take it away with us. God, I thought there was a skeleton there. It's just a big piece of masonry. Okay. Masonry. Come forward, Frank. Let us sally forth into the abyss and see what awaits us. What horrors lie in the darkness? I should turn my torch on again, know what I'm doing, <laughs> before I forget. And again, I don't know, you can still see fairly okay. Ooh, what the... What's this? Mm. Mm, no... It's just a little... 
burial chamber or something? What? Ah, there's nothing in here. Okay. Okay, never mind. Strange. Uh, that's where I came from. Oh god. Was this a fucking coffin? Good lord. Oh! Okay! Was this like a fucking mummy? A statue? Or mummified remains or something? It is getting a bit blurry around the edges, which means there's a vision somewhere to be had around here. Damn. These big sarcophagi, whatever they are. These guys are fucking tall, I'll give them that. Where is the vision? Oh god, what is that? Is that a golem? One of these golems they keep talking about? Yeah. From some of the bas reliefs explored in the seemingly oldest structure, which had been wedded into shapeless ruins ages ago, we learned that these reptilian creatures were the inhabitants of this eon-dead city. But while some of them were enshrouded in special coffins, these are standing still, glued to their vertical rock coffins with an awful-looking ooze. What's a coffin? <laughs> Curiously, they were firmly placed in the niches, niches on niches. some of the walls. Yes. In every niche you'll find a coffin. Oh god, what the... That is something that I'm clearly supposed to use light to get through, I think. Okay, so how do I get light down here? That is the question. These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. Do I use my special crystal? The way ahead is blocked by this curious vegetation. No, apparently not. Unless I insert it somewhere, maybe into this guy's hands, or... Jesus. What a nice looking guy you are. I can't do anything with that. There's got to be something I'm supposed to do with this crystal. Um, I'm not sure what though. Somewhere I can put it, or... Hmm. Yeah, sarcophagi. They're looking very nice, aren't they? Let's go... No, it can't be down here, can it? Or... Because there is something I'm supposed to do around here, but no. A strange place. Hmm. Hmm. How curious. Wait, where am I meant to go? Clearly I'm supposed to go down there, but I need the light. How do I get the light? From out of this thing up here, or...? No. Or maybe yes. Or maybe not. Um. I don't know. I go over here. Invisible wall. It's blocking the way. Um, not really anything there, is there? Can I do anything with that? No? Sure it's not something to do with this guy? I can't seem to interact with it, so... Yeah. Part of the strange flora is blocking the way here. Okay, well clearly I need to get the light down here, don't I? Somehow. Just not sure how. Um, so there might be something I've missed somewhere. Hang on, I've got. I mean, I've got this reddish crystal stone from the vision. Um, do I do anything with it? I don't know. Um, where do I put it? It's going to be like a receptacle around somewhere for it. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to wrap this episode up here because I've been recording for at least half an hour, probably more than that so far. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger here, whilst I just um, do a little bit of investigation off camera. See if I can work out where I'm, you know, what I'm supposed to do to get the light down here, or to get rid of those plants or whatever else have you. So, hope you enjoyed this one, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not doing this already, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links down below as usual, along with a link to my propagandist channel, where I do various anime-related gubbins, if you're interested in that kind of thing. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share my videos with your friends on social media, all that jazz. But in the meantime, it's General Red signing off now. Goodbye, all! Oh. Oh, oh, no. Oh, shit. What? Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, God. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> okay. Advice. Uh, what do I do? Get behind this pillar? What do I take out? Ah, I get off oh, shit. I get it, I have to get these pillars taken out. 
move. Oh, move, 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 move. Shit. No. Oh, fuck. Maybe I just need to go in a circle. Alright. 